And I want to say that Wilson, who died over 30 years ago, began his career before modern lit was taught and analyzed in the universities. As he said at one time in, I think, a piece about Christian Gauss, Gauss, as I called him, Gauss as my father in his generation at Princeton a year or two after Wilson called him. When Wilson was studying there, uh, that uh, the latest daring writers to get into the curriculum were uh, wits of the 90s, and maybe uh, Gauss had his reputation as a bohemian romantic because he had known Oscar Wilde in Paris. But there was no modern lit. Wilson came then from a different world, and he became the focal point of a broad mainstream American culture that thought that modern literature and wanted modern literature to be able to be read and appreciated by ordinary people. They were not modernists in an abstract sense, and certainly some of them, like T.S. Eliot and Faulkner, were too difficult for some of their writings to be read by ordinary people, but this was a world before the division between the brows or between elite or whatever had established itself as part of our consciousness. Wilson was a major player in the successful effort of his generation to establish at the heart of American life an innovative literature that would equal the great cultures of Europe. 